Oh my goodness. So as you guys can imagine, two freaking puppies, right? Um, so they're dealing with everything that you would imagine. They're dealing with pulling on the leash, jumping, counter surfing, fighting with each other because they're siblings. Um, so there's just so much that goes involved. So we're gonna restructure and reshape their entire relationship, not only on the leash, but as well as in the house off the leash because training just doesn't end when the dogs are on the leash. Training is universally with the off the leash, equipment on, equipment off. So it's a full transformation with two dogs and how to go about training two dogs. Oh look, a horse. What's your horse's name? Hercules. Is that your dog too? So anyway guys, we're gonna get right into this video, but before we do, do me a favor, like this video, we do a 24 hour challenge where if we get 2000 likes in 24 hours, then we are going to do a live in the next five days. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching either way. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let's get into the video. All right. Oh my goodness. So I wanna see, I just wanna see where you're at. Have you done, have you, have you done basics yet at all with them? Everything. It's okay. I feel like I've made such progress, and then one day I'll take them out. It's like, what just happened? Okay. Particularly when they see other people or other dogs, they completely lose themselves. I cannot. Okay. Do I just. Somebody wants to take one and start healing around a little bit, or. Okay, just he constant. He, he just checks out and doesn't remember anything he's supposed to do. So I'm gonna just start with a slip and then I have my No Bad Dogs training leash. It's a four foot training leash, we so. Have it. Oh, you do? We do have it. With okay, us, yeah. wonderful. How are we with people, okay? Oh, yeah, okay. super friendly. Okay, because most dogs I deal with try to kill me, you so. I've seen your videos. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just gonna start with the slip and we'll take off the harness. Yeah. Just because the harness, as you know and see, it just doesn't give you enough right. control. Um, now using just a piece of string and a, and a leash to handle a dog takes great skill and great uh, experience. Mm -hmm. So the things that I do on the leash may be different from what you guys can do. And that's why I'm so versatile in being able to use different tools because I understand that I don't have six months to make you guys dog trainers. Right. So what I'm gonna do is start off like what I call a tune-up which is basically a calibration because you guys aren't calibrated at all, if you will. The dog is completely out of sync and it's tough. I know you guys are frustrated and you're like, well, you're doing, you're putting in the work, you're here, you've put in the work before and everything you've done just isn't working. So I understand how frustrating it is. But the hard thing is, is like when you get a dog that's like barking and stuff like that, is they mentally just go crazy. They are stressed. They are, they create anxiety. Um, that creates all this stuff. Just going to do directional changes. Jameson, come. Yes, buddy, good boy. Come. Good. Come. So the, see that little pop there? Come on. Good. Come. Good. Jameson, come. Yes, buddy. Good boy. Come. So just a little pop. So if I turn, Jameson, come. And he doesn't, just a little, hey, remember me? Good. Jameson, come. Good boy. Sit, good. So now you, so I'm tuning them up a little bit or he's starting to be a little bit more responsive to me. Good job, buddy. So it's all about your relationship with them is because if they're out of control on the leash when you're out, they're gonna be out of control everywhere. Yeah. And I want them to be a dog, but when you're on the leash and we're barking and we're pulling and we're lunging, it's just a great representation of how he is up here mm -hmm. and how he perceives you guys. Once you get that fluidity of paying attention to me and being really nice on the leash, then they're like, oh, this is way better. Mentally, behaviorally, he's in a better spot already. And he's in the back seat now versus trying to drive. Right. Because you get two six month old dogs trying to drive around, it's gonna look like you guys were look, your head's gonna be spinning. That's what it's gonna look, it's gonna look like the little rascals in a clown car. And that's exactly what you were getting. 
I know, buddy. The way that I want him to be is the way I present myself. Calm, neutral, I'm not yelling, I'm not screaming, I'm not forcing, I'm not yanking and cranking. He barks, I go, hey, with the leash. It's a lot easier than poking him and stuff. So the important thing is when you're working with two dogs, get them separately under control, yeah. always. Good, heel. Well, you will be able to after this, if you want. He's a little bit more spunky. So I gotta give him structure. Yep, 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 yep. Sure, yeah, no, it's, it's not ideal. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. See how he's doing this? Okay, so this is big. I wanna talk about uh, using different types of tools. So for him, obviously, you know, the harnesses are completely not going to work for you guys. I don't have to explain why. You've done that for four months, it's not working. So with him, because he's choking himself out and he's throwing a tantrum, we can switch to a prong collar and make it safer for him, which is gonna help. And then I can switch back to the slip collar after he understands, because he doesn't know the game right now. Yeah. It's gonna be the safest tool, period. So he's not fearful, he's not afraid, he's just, I'm not doing this with you. Come on, bud. Come on. So that's what he's gonna decide to do yeah. until he chokes himself out and then he gets emotional and then he gets... This is a tool that allows us to control the dog better. So instead of choking and freaking, because he's happier than a, he's so happy, but he's like, but I'm not working. I'm not, this is, that's, I don't work. So by using this, it's a safer ability. You'll see, I mean, immediately. The reality oh. is, is could I get him to move forward other ways? Yes. I could get out some really yummy treats and get him to walk with me. But the problem is, behaviorally, that doesn't help me because he's not doing it for me. He hasn't, he's doing it for the food. And you could tell like in his breathing, he's, he's, he's a little bit stressed. Anything, that we do in life. And that's like the thing about the studies of like, tools make dogs more stressful, but tools also get dogs to a different point in their life where they're more confident, right? I see you shaking your head like, okay, yeah. So same thing with us is like, man, I really don't wanna go to the gym or I don't wanna go to that wedding or I don't wanna go to my first day of school because it's stressful. Stress is what creates progress. And that's where like the, the empathy that I have for all animals, I'm the type of guy that takes a piece of ant and I'm like putting it outside because I don't want anybody to step on it. I love animal ant thing. It's a big old spider. Run free. So I would never intentionally say, I'm gonna stress a dog out because it's my only option. That's not the case at all. Once you see this work, you're gonna go, oh, that makes a lot more sense. But I guess my point is, is Stress is part of life. Like we said before, we don't live in a bubble where there's, yeah, no, he's good if there's no squirrels, no people, no other dogs, no chipmunks, no wind, no leaves. We don't live in that world. Come. So ready, this is the test. So brakes are on. I'm not working for you, he says. Do you see? Oh yeah. So instead of throwing a fit, it comes up, it releases. It comes up and it releases. He's like, okay, fine. So now watch what I do over the next two minutes with him. And then the restriction stops. Cause he's like, you're gonna win this. And I'm like, yeah, dude, I am. Cause I'm a human being and you're a six month old dog or seven month old dog. This is what we gotta do, man. Let's go. Like push him out of the nest a little bit. Stressful for him, but that's the world we live in. Going to get braces is stressful, but it gives you a perfect smile. It's like stress is a part of our life. Good boy! Good job, buddy! Yo. So see? So instead of, so watch. Boom. And he's like, okay. Come on, bud. Good boy, Jameson! Good job! Good. Jameson, come. Yes, buddy! Well done! His tail is wagging, he's having a good time. All right, break. Now that I know he's mentally gotten over what he, was so terrified of, which is honestly just work. <laughs> I mean, I use food every single day of my life when I train, but I don't start off with it for that exact reason. Out of, my, out of the hour session that I work with any dog, we may spend a cumulative 
of maybe a second and a half out of the 60 minutes on just a little bit of pressure. The rest, rainbows and butterflies, right? Making it really fun for the dog. Good heel. Take my finger off. <laughs> Good job. Sit. Yes. So, shoulders are straight. I'm not looking at them. I'm not talking to them. I'm feeling them on my arm. My arm is nice and relaxed. Hey, no. No. So for me, it's just being assertive. So here comes another person. Leave it. Ah, ah. Leave it. Good. Leave it. Yes, guys. Yes. Good. Leave it. Good. Leave it. Good job. So that's what it's all about for me. Somebody new comes in, rurf, 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 and I go, what the hell are you doing? Like, what's going on here? Just chill. What, what, what's the deal? All right, you guys, so lots of information in this video. I absolutely love working with puppies. I absolutely love working with dogs. And more importantly, I love helping owners with their dogs. As you guys know on this channel, real problems, real dog owners, real results. And one thing that I really liked about this that we actually didn't catch on film was when the owners came in the second day, because you guys primarily saw the first day, they said, Tom, for the first time, the dogs actually ran to us and was they were excited to put the collars on. And so, before they said that the with the harnesses they had to literally wrangle them around the house and they are enjoying life uh, with their dogs for the first time without frustration this is a family that worked really hard but really just didn't have the the necessary tools to implement and the skill sets to implement in their relationship so from here they're going to go onward and upward and i'm really happy for them and i hope you guys like this video don't forget hit that like button smash that subscribe button we're here in beautiful burlington on church street we're going to go to our favorite coffee shop crew coffee shout out the crew and we're going to get some work done but anyway i hope you guys like this video i will talk to you next time peace